Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you the art of making a scene by scratch in SFM. A scene build is essentially making the world around you, making the scene for your character to be posed or animated in. This tutorial will show you how to make an easy scene build for your posters and or animations. For this guide, you'll have to have some basic knowledge of SFM, and all assets I'll be using will be in the, in the description of the video. Start off by loading the, in the map Black Void. Next, create a camera and move it to the position that you want. Next, load in your character and pose your character. After you've done that, we will spawn in some grass. When using grass, it's, a good, it's good to make it non-consistent because a grassy area wouldn't be consistent in the way it's placed. Now we will add a fence to give it some life. With the fence we will deal scale the model size to make it seem a bit smaller than our model. Now we'll expand by copying and pasting them until we get a field of grass. And a good tip is to scale the grass to make it small in size, because it's not consistent. Now, after you're feeling good with how your field is going, we're going to place in some trees. A good rule which I use is that you don't need to have your trees far away from the camera because you can make them smaller and a tiny bit further away from the other trees that you're using to give the same effect as if the trees are further away. By doing this you go to scale models and decrease the size like I'm doing. Now we'll add some bushes to hide some of the horizon. When making a scene build, it's a good idea to have your bushes in different shapes, positions and sizes. Also, with grass, it's a good idea to rotate the grass to give off a hill look if that's what you're going for. And also, your grass doesn't have to be flat. It's a good idea that it's round and curved because grass isn't always straight up. It's always curved in some way or another. After we have done this, we will add rocks to give it a natural look. We will use a range of rocks and make them inconsistent by changing the size and moving them into different positions. It's always good to choose different rocks for different scenes. If I'm doing a forest, then I sort of want a rock with a moss covered, just because it fits more into the environment. So it's always good to use a large variety of rocks with different textures and shapes.
After we are happy with our result, it's time to add in some hills. So the hill I like to use are the ones that have the trees on them, because it makes them seem more realistic. I also like to use the ones which are just plain hills together as well. Because the hills are so big, I will scale them down. Another trick is to scale the hills down and move them a tiny bit back further, to give the illusion that they're further away than it really is. The exact same way how we did with the trees. After we have done this, we can add some aesthetics, like flowers and broken trees and other models. Remember, we will make them inconsistent by rotating them and changing the size and position. This all depends on the scene. With scene building, it depends on what, what is most common about the setting you are trying to create. An example, in a city, there are roads, lights, and buildings, cars, and rubbish cans, and etc. Just like with the grass, we will make the flowers inconsistent as possible. So that means choosing different varieties and not overflowing one area with flowers, because that's not usually how flowers work. If you look at going to a forest, you can always see flowers in different positions, and they're usually in different angles as well. So it's always good to rotate the flowers, also decreasing in sizes and increasing the sizes, and also putting them in different positions where nothing is filling the area. For the final part, I will add a sky dome, which will give us our sky, and we will scale it as well. For whatever sky you want, nighttime, daytime, or afternoon, this sky dome has it. I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you've learned something about scene builds today in SFM.